Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Tuesday, June 22nd. Currently 72 degrees. And that's about as high as it's getting. 73 is the high today. Which is nice because it was rained last night, so it's a lot less humid. I'll take very muggy yesterday. It was like pea soup. It was nasty. Ah, drinking some uh, black rifle. Just black coffee. It's delicious. All the black rifle blends are really good. Today I'm smoking my Costello. <clears throat> Natural Virgin, Sea Rock, KK Billiard, Military Mount, Smooth Rim. One of my favorite pipes. Definitely need to get more uh, Military Mount Costellos. I have uh, that real big, deep, like, stack, the black Sea Rock stack, which I enjoy. Um, That one's like an all-day smoker. Thing I'll pack it. You can smoke the thing all day. And in this today, I am smoking McBaron's Virginia Number no. One, which is coincidentally the first McBaron blend I ever had. Um, and this tin, like I was saying yesterday, I think this tin is extremely old. Um, not extremely, but maybe like seven, eight years old at least. <coughs> um, this is the first tin that I had gotten from of McBaron's. It was one of the first actual non aromatics I bought. from a brick and mortar. Um, Orlick was the first one. And then the next time I had gone in, my buddy Barry down at Woodmere's Tobacco, he had suggested uh, McFerrin Virginia number one. Cause it's, you know, just as a, just starting out into the realm of not, of like actually just smoking pipes in general. I didn't really go down the super aromatic uh, route which was because of him he was like hey try Orlick you can't go wrong with that I tried it I enjoyed it and then uh, I, uh, I I got this I, I there was some there was some one of my favorite blends was the uh, I think it was the Nording blend or Labrador, the link Labrador, which I don't make anymore, which is a really delicious blend. But anyway, this is a very uh, classic Virginia, nice and sweet. Um, it's like bright Virginias, you get that like honey, honey citrus top, top note, or the honey top note, I should say. Um, but it's mostly from the Virginias. There's a little bit of like sugar water casing, but for me, you get just all classic Virginia taste, which I uh, I really enjoy. Um, some people have claimed, and I think this is the problem with tobacco reviews. You know, I, I feel like it's like a placebo effect. Like some people are like, oh, this this gets real bitey, it smokes hot. You know, you gotta watch out. Uh, and I feel like people read, that's why I try not to, to really read too many reviews before I, or if, if at all, 
before I smoke a blend. You know, I, I tend to smoke a blend and then a lot of times I'll read them after just to see, you know, what I'm tasting, if that's what other people are tasting. But sometimes you can be either put off by a blend, which I've, I've done before. Or I read a review and I was like, ah, I'm not going to like that. And I end up trying it and I loved it. And I'm like, you know, everybody's tastes are different. Um, it kind of gets a snowball effect where you read a couple bad reviews about something and then going into it you're already half defeated because you're already assuming that this is going to be the case you're going to smoke it and it's going to be hot or it's going to be this it's going to be that you know and the mind play is you know can play tricks on you if you want something to to be present it's going to turn out that way nine times out of ten I don't ever get any bite from this. Any McBaron blends, really. I mean, I think a lot, a lot of that really has to do with how you smoke. I mean, almost any blend, if you smoke it fast enough, will bite you. So, you know, if you have a, a slow cadence and you, you know, and you puff, you like to enjoy the tobacco and not just smoke hot air. Um, then yeah, just slow it down, enjoy it. This is a very delicious blend. I enjoy it. It's like the little brother to HH Pure Virginia. Yeah, that the Pure Virginia is definitely a little deeper. Um, still a bright Virginia, you know, but it's it's got some 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 deeper notes definitely get more of the bread you know bread and hay this is more of a citrus um, honey you know a brighter Virginia but super quality delicious blend you know Virginia's getting into like Virginia's really quality Virginia's and is what led me down the road to not really enjoying English blends anymore or and making me enjoy vapors like once I started smoking Virginia's to me it was really hard to go back to to smoking other blends it's like what <laughs> it's almost like the perfect tobacco like Virginia's are like just the the best and you know add some perique to it and get a vapor i mean there isn't anything better to me so when i went back and tried to start smoking english blends with latakia i was like yeah i don't know nah, i virginia's and vapors just taste so much better throw some kentucky in there some burley um and i'm i'm a, I'm a happy camper <clears throat> That's why I sold off most of, almost all of my my English blends, or I'm trying to. I still have a bunch of blends that I'm trying to sell for cheap. I got rid of a bunch, but I still have a good amount. So if anybody's looking for some cheap tobacco deals, just let me know. Um, I can I can take some pictures and send them to you. What I have left, you know, three for twenty. They're all basically full full tins almost they're, they're they're jarred so what I do is I weigh them and I put them in mylar bag and then I ship them um, so if you're trying to try blends on a budget or just stock up on a budget you know let me know I can I can send you what I have I have a lot of match blends too a lot of the the Sutliff match blends of all the like sugar barrel and blue boar and hickory and all those blends as well but I have a pretty good amount of uh, English blends still a lot of the like super popular ones obviously and, I'm, I'm, and my esoteric is and all that stuff we're all we're all bought up but
versus Virginia. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna round off the the last of the McBaron blends that I have. Although I keep finding ones that I forgot I had. Once I start diving into the crates, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had this. Oh yeah. So I probably have a handful left, but. And then I'm gonna do. Um, I did the Burley HH Burley Burley Flake, um, but I found my Amphora Burley. I have the Wessex Burley Slice. I have um, Solani. I think I have the Solani Burley. So I'm gonna do a Burley comparison after this. I'll start going through my my uh, Burley blends, like my straight Burley blends. Hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.